In this video, we're going to cover clustering with maps. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Let's head over to Tableau. All right, we're now here in Tableau, and I've got the data set here. If you want to follow along, it is in the description below. So go ahead and download that, and we're going to drop this in. Okay, and we'll go straight into the visualization mode. All right. So let me first build a map. So here I've got a map of Australia. And whenever we do maps, a lot of the times, not all the time, a lot of the times, the longitude and latitude, basically the X and Y coordinates, right, the positioning, are automatically generated uh, using this latitude and longitude. Now, unfortunately, you can't use that for clustering. So there's a little trick. Here's the trick. So if you take all your data, right, and we go view data, you'll see that the latitude and longitude are visible. So when you do export, right, and it goes out into a CSV, all you got to do is rename these. And I've done that already. And I've called them x axis and y axis so that when it reads it, it doesn't know it's a longitude and latitude, they're just numbers, right? It's a tableau. Okay, so then what we have to do is we want to bring in the cluster now that we have those fields. But unfortunately, when I go into analytics, the clustering is not available because we need something that's being measured, right? So here's the cheat. Um, you can do account, anything you want. Here I've got population. So I'm going to drop this into size. And you can see, okay, it's introduced some uh, size in there. Now I can go into analytics and hit cluster. But the thing that it's going to do is only going to bring in the sum of population. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into here for the data. We're going to bring in the x-axis and y-axis, which are equivalent to the longitude and latitude. And we simply get rid of this population. All right. Now we can do a clustering using maps. Right? And we can just control how many clusters we want. Let's say eight, for example. And you've got your eight clusters there. Right? Maybe I'll add a little bit of a border so I can kind of see where things start and end. It's a little bit pretty. Okay, I can see all of that. Now, the great thing about this is, again, if we bring this clusters into here, it will create a cluster field. Then we can actually count or do calculations on this. So let's say I go into a new sheet. We're going to bring postcode clusters. Oh, hang on. No, I didn't want that. I just want it as a field like so. I can count the population, right? I can do the average population. I can do the median population. I think you get the point. Right? I think you get the point. But basically what I'm trying to show is that you can do additional things once you've built your cluster. Okay. Now if I bring this into a dashboard, right, you've got far more information now than you can use because you've added that X and Y axis. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, drop a like, and don't forget to subscribe because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and bye.